start up the program now. Okay, starting it up. Hitting reset. So you can see the um, our little pet is in motion. If you click the status menu when it's not feeling anything, it'll say it is healthy. After a designated period of time, it'll start going into a cry mode. It's in need of something. You could hit that same status menu to find out that it is sad. You can then go to the option menu. Select one. You could praise. You can feed. You can nap. You can scold it. Then there's an exit menu in case you hit by accident. The correct answer for sadness is praise. So you can select that. I'm a happy guy. Yeah, a little happy guy. And he keeps going. So, once again, you can hit into any of the other menu options. So, just in case at any point in time you wanted to do have a reaction, you could feed. <laughs> you can nap. Each one has its own designated graphic and sound via the piezo element. Yeah, it creates some good good graphics. Still healthy. And you can scold. It's the last one. <laughs> where it will change directions upon exiting. <laughs> so just demonstrating some different variation with it. And then how do you how do you kill it? Uh, it dies off only if it's been crying for too long. So once it's started into cry mode now, it'll wait a specific uh, amount of time. It'll go through ten cycles of crying. After five cycles of this crying, a light will come on, which is going to be the danger light. So okay, now it's yep, it halfway is. through, and you know that you need to react to it more quickly. After five more of these little light cycles, five more light cycles after the light goes on, it'll go into the death mode, which has a little tombstone in it. Yeah. Which is right nice. there. And yeah. to do anything else, you would just hit the restart button. Great. Respawn. Yep. Yeah, thanks. Pretty much.